Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we'll be discussing how to connect your bank account with Expensify in 2023. By connecting your bank account, you can streamline the expense tracking process and automate the import of transactions. Of course, this will be able to do it if you have a subscription, but we'll get into the details of this once we get into the video. So let's simply dive into it and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So first, you'll have to go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser and of course in your case you can use any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, as an example here, I'm just going to use Brave. And of course, once you open that browser for you, you can simply go to the URL section and type expensify.com and hit the enter button. That will take you directly to the home screen or main screen of Expensify. For you, if it's your first time, you will have to scroll down a bit and you will find the login option at the bottom there. You can simply click on it to login into your account if you have one. If you don't have an account, you'll find at the top of it, uh, just at the top of login option, you'll find the create an account option. Click on it so you can create your account. So once you click on it, you'll have to follow the prompt and create your account. Give them all the details that they need. And of course, you'll have to or you will be able to create your account. Very simple. Of course, on this left panel, you'll find uh, not this one on the, your home screen. You'll find four options to log in or even to create your accounts from. If you don't want to get through all the boring steps of creating or even login in your account, you'll find an email option. A phone number option, Google option, Apple option. If you choose any of them, as as, we, as I said, you'll be able to log in into your account or even to create an account without getting through all the boring steps of doing that by your own. Once you do so, of course, once you log in into your account or just created your account, you'll find yourself on the dashboard kind of or the inbox of uh, expense by right away. So once you're logged in, of course, as you can, as I said, you'll have to navigate to the bank connection sections without the expense by dashboard. So, of course, you'll have just simply go for the bank connections or connect bank accounts. And, of course, you will find it on the settings on this left panel. So, simply, once you click on settings on this left panel, make sure to click on account. And make sure here on this left panel again, make sure to click on credit card imports. Of course, this automation of uh, like getting every recipient created ex into expenses uh, right here. So as you can see, this uh, has a feature that can scan receipts and will create uh, automatically uh, expenses for you. Of course, this will not work if you don't have the, or if you're not subscribed with them. So make sure to do so and subscribe with them so you will have unlimited scan recipients. Because if you didn't have it, you'll not be able to uh, create unlimited uh, recipients or scan a limited recipient and you'll not be able to uh, create uh, whatever you want or how much you want of expenses. Of course, you can even go and create some policies if you want or some rules for yourself or even for a group so they meet all the rules and requirements or policies so everything will be organized for you. So as you said, we can simply go to settings, accounts, go to credit card imports and as you can see, if you are personal or if you want to uh, import your personal card or connect your personal card, make sure to go and click on import bank card or import transactions from file as an example. If you want to simply just create expensive without importing your card or bank account. If you are a company, a company card, as you can see for businesses to centrally manage a company cards, assign and manage company card transactions, populate directly into the card holders account for easy reconciliation. So as you can see, you can learn more about this if you want from here. So if you are interested about getting your card or your uh, company card uh, linked into your Expensify accounts, make sure to go and get through these options. But for me and today's tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to link your bank account or personal card account. So here, you can just simply click on import this bank or card and this will open this pop out for you. Here, you'll have to wait a bit as you can see until this appears to you. So here, you will have to choose your bank accounts. Of course, if you found this here, that will be cool. If you didn't, you can simply click or uh, type the name of your bank account right here. And of course, you will normally find it. So as you can see, this is 100% secure. So don't worry about this. As an example, let's say I have a Chase bank account. So we're about to redirect you to the, the website of Chase. So simply, you'll have to uh, click on Take Me Here. So you'll be able to sign in and select uh, or configure a card. And before you go, you can select Transaction Start Date as an example. Once you do so, or once you uh, click on Take Me There, they'll take you to the Chase website and you'll have to go and log in into your account. And make sure to select the card that you want to link into your 
uh, Expensify account. Of course, that will not even work with uh, Chase. It will even work with the United States uh, credit card or even Capital One or Bank of America, Discover, City, and even a lot of other banks. No, that is not even appearing here. As you can see, if you click on search, you'll be able to search of a lot of banks here. So once you're logged in into your account and selecting your card, you'll simply have to configure whatever you want. So if you want to get the automated uh, expenses from the credit card, from everything that you spend from your credit card, you'll be able to configure it from there. And of course, as I said, you'll not be able to do that if you didn't go and pay for this subscription. And as you can see, it's not going to be that big of a deal. It's going to be pretty simple. You can use just this simple one, which is uh, $5 per month. Of course, if you link your bank account and if you spend anything, you'll find that expenses are being created automatically in your Expensify account. Even if it's not created, you'll be able to go and scan the receipts as an example and that will automatically create the expenses for you. Even if you have any issues or you didn't pay with that same card as an example, you can simply go and create a manually one if you want and you will have to simply uh, fill the necessary information including like the merchants, the dates, the total and of course you can even fill this uh, uh, optional uh, options that will make you or make everything organized for you or optimized. You can uh, make it into category or uh, attendance that can see it. You can add it or give it a description or even add it to a report. And here you'll be able to upload any documents that uh, maybe you could be relevant to expenses or this could be helpful. Of course, once you're done, you can simply click on save. And as I said, you'll be able to add it to your reports and you'll be able, uh, be able to export your reports wherever you want. If you're having any issues or something, you can always click on the support option and you'll be able to talk to them 24-7. And as you can see, real-time support to answer more questions. So if you click here, you'll they'll take you to the Expensify chat and here you'll be able to ask any question that you have or any concern that you have and they will answer it. You can even use this option of help site because that will that will use our collection to reboot self service help guides and best practices. And here you'll be able to learn a lot of other stuff and even answering some of your questions. And of course, if you reach this point of this video, congratulations. There you have it. That's or how you can connect your bank accounts with Expensify in 2023. Of course, by following these steps, you can automate uh, the import of transactions and streamline your expense tracking process. Of course, if you found this video helpful, make sure to uh, leave a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more informative content. Also, feel free to leave any questions or suggestions in the comments down below or even any concerns. As I said, if you have any questions, you can contact the support if you want because it's going to be pretty fast than me. Uh, and they will even have or provide you with even better answers as an example. But you can always go to the comment section if you want to. So, happy expensive or a happy expense tracking with Expensify. And thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.